Greetings critters, it's Fox here and welcome to my Burrow of Thoughts, aka my channel, where we talk about everything spooky. And today will be a spooky book review of If You See Her by Ania Halborn. So settle into your burrows because things are about to get spooky. So just a little bit about the plot of If You See Her by Ania Halborn. So there are a group of friends, Jesse, Reed, and Casey, and they loved going to the old Mill Road house that is abandoned and spooky. But then when Reed cho chooses this house as the backdrop for his own suicide, Jesse and Casey are thrown into a whirlwind of grief. Years and years later, Casey comes to Jesse and begs him to return to the old Mill Road house to find closure and face their demons. And that's when tragedy strikes again. So my thoughts on If You See Her by Mia Helborn. First off, I must issue a heavy trigger warning for this book. Obviously with the synopsis, you know that there is suicide in this book but it's not just the one occurrence uh, not to spoil anything but it is discussed throughout Reed's actions so if that triggers you skip this book because it is also very very grim it has a very heavy sad undertone of the destruction of grief and just I think a sense of madness that ensues with Jesse and it was so grim that I didn't find it enjoyable and in fact I also didn't find Jesse the main character going through these strifes to be a likable character someone that I would be rooting for so that was a bit of a downer and uh, also um, I was more interested in the story about the house and the haunting and the paranormal, the story of the girl that the, that Jesse sees, um, I found that more intriguing. Uh, it is very, very vague and I really wish there were more s segments of that history. I liked the writing style of this. I think if I was in the mood for something super heavy, grim, and sad, and had small elements of horror, I would have enjoyed this book more. But I was going into this thinking, yes, there's tragedy, but hopefully this will be a paranormal read. And it lacked that paranormal oomph. However, the scenes with the hauntings are strong and that really carried this plot through for me and allowed me to power through this book and finish it because there are some parts that did lull. Now, I think this would have made a better novella with the, between the lulls and the plot points and just everything that goes on with the book, I think a shorter length would have made this more impactful and I feel parts of it were unnecessary. I got the point. You know what I mean? Um, if not, <laughs> give it a read. Maybe you will. And uh, I also love Ania Halborn's work. I have The Shuddering and I have Brother on my Kindle and I loved them both. So just because this book was not for me, does not deter me from this author in the slightest. This is just something that I'm going to have to pick up and be prepared for the level of grim. So all in all, it wasn't what I was looking for at the time that I read it. And it was too sad and dark for me. And I, again, love Ania Halborn, will continue to read her. However, I am reading this, Two Tales at Five. Well, Critters, that's all from this Den of Frights. I love and I appreciate you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for watching, and it means the whole wide wilderness to me. It really does, you being here, taking the time to watch my review, 
And until next time, stay cozy and stay spooky. Bye.